Hi, Sirius Bruce here, back with another Ordinal Marker video, episode 61, and you can see I'm up to singularity level 215, and I've just done a little bit of grinding this challenge, it's not really all that much, I think I'm just going to exit the Omega challenge and try to reach Omega City Mike Squared in challenge 8 outside of the usual, like, Omega challenge. So, well first I just need to do the normal run, where I, where I get... You know, I, I get the factor shifts, so I can get 100 billion factor shifts per second. Or not factor shifts, factor boosts. I don't really think I need that many factor boosts. Um, I can't even get all that much. It's probably it's not even singularity functions. It's probably probably it's this because I'm I'm getting unnecessary upgrades. So yeah, you can see this is probably now better. Uh, 119 billion. Uh, it's a little better, not that much better actually. I'm not really sure what it comes down to. It's possibly cardinals, possibly just I don't have a lot of factor shifts. I could just you know get more cardinals and that will help things a lot. So I will do that, and I'm just gonna get straight into challenge eight. I don't, I don't want to wait here. So let's see, challenge eight. Um, I don't really need Tikka many. That's not a problem. I need. First, I'm going to see E48. That's not the greatest sign because if I do a factor shift, that might might mean it's 4E38. Yeah, it's 4E38. So that's not. I need. You can see 3.6E39. So I'm very close, but I'm just not quite there. So what I'm going to do instead, or just do, not to do instead. Is going to Omega Challenge 4 and do more grinding in it. I could try to push for the base 6 is now base 5 upgrade again. I'm closer than ever, and it's for the first time realistically achievable in a not too long amount of time, like maybe 5 minutes. But I don't think it's going to help all that much. I think at this point, I don't need to grind factor boost. I just I just need to get incrementy. So you can see now I'm grinding incrementy. Um, what is this? Am I getting more? Yes, I am. So this is good. I'm going to need about 386. That's going to be probably what I want if I want 4 E38. So I will need to grind a pretty significant amount of incrementy, but this is definitely possible. You can see what this is. That's at 388. So hopefully this is just going to be possible without too much grinding. I'll, I'm just going to hope. And maybe I think these like upgrades like can can I get these upgrades? Y yes, I can. So like maybe what if I reach E150 incrementing, that's going to help a ton because it's gonna like over quadruple it. But yeah, it's definitely gonna take. Actually, it's not gonna take that much. I thought it was gonna take. Oh, it's gonna take maybe 20 to 30 minutes. No, it's actually it's probably gonna take under five minutes, maybe even less. I think I want to be safe though, so I'll do like three instead of three six zero. I'll do three eight five seven or something. While I'm waiting for this, I can actually um, I can distribute cardinals and I can actually do this. I can I can go into Alpha Omega, put half into here. This actually gets me a sing another singularity level. So yeah, I'll, I'll definitely take that. It, I'm at singular a total singularity of of two sixteen, which is nice to have. That'll help with just everything so that's that and you can see this is now down to three eight five six so hopefully this is going to do I mean I could just exit the Omega challenge I may need to do a little bit of factor boost grinding just like I tried before but hopefully it won't be too bad so yeah just exit the Omega challenge um, just do a normal run where I grind factor boosts want to go back I want to turn this back on and then probably lower the singularity level so I can get factor boosts. And I have all these. I'm good here. Not much else I can do with that. So I guess I just want to maximize factor boosts per second. Actually, I can get all the way up to 135 billion per second. So that's almost where I was before, like before I grinded 229 quadrillion factor boosts. So yeah, this is pretty good. I'm not exactly sure how much I want. I think I was at like E25 boosters or something. And yeah, I feel like I should just... Yeah, now I'm going to exit enter challenge 8. So challenge 8, 
go into this, I can actually see 4.325. Yeah, this is this is gonna do it. We're we're gonna make it. Boom. Okay, I think what it did there is it just completed the challenge eight a whole bunch of times. Now up to 25 completions. This is gonna give now there's an achievement for this. Maybe I wanna try that again so I can possibly get another completion because I haven't like I I know I can get this up this upgrade, but it, that upgrade actually may well, I may time it so I can I can get down to base three beforehand. So um, yeah, just you know, just do the factor shifts as usual, and yeah, you can see it's actually possible to get another completion here. I'm gonna do it again. This will just do this. Just pressing the hotkeys here, and let's see if I can actually do this. Is this gonna do anything? Um, no, it won't. So, uh, I think at this point, this is just the most amount of completions I can get. Um, the decrementing is not going to do anything. It's just the challenging completions that are going to be big. So this is this gave me a total of nine more challenge eight completions, and still I don't have this yet. But that's probably okay. What I can what I can do now is just go back into the normal. Um, build here and probably the factor boost grinding and Omega challenge grinding is going to be much faster or not I'm actually I thought it was going to be way better but somehow maybe uh, I can see it's dynamic factor cap boosts tier 1 and tier 2 and incrementy would have thought that tier 2 would have done a little more than this though also it wasn't even in singular to level 1 in challenge 8 I feel like I did a bunch of things a little bit wrong. I mean, I might have been able to get another completion. I don't, I don't think it would have gave me another completion. I think that's just decrementy. But, yeah, it's actually kind of disappointing. I thought it was going to do way more. It's, it's not even much faster factor boost grinding. Maybe I should just enter challenge 9 right now, because it is a big multiplier to incrementy. So I will do that. Um, just get get this, and hopefully this will do something. Well, yeah, of course, I have to do this grinding first, but this is this is the easy grinding, not the not the other, not like the Omega Challenge Five where you need to do a bunch of time walls. So yeah, looks like I can get I got this achievement, which is 69 manifolds. Nice, and it's probably. Let's see how many singularity level. I'm at 172 plus. This is a total of 231. So that's actually quite a bit of sing. That's 15 singularity levels. And I'm not even at high factor boosts at all. I'm only at a few trillion. I know if I grind more, I can easily get more out of this. So maybe what I should do is I should just go back into certain Omega challenges, such as 1 plus 8. Because I feel like that one's a big one. So 1, 8, get that going. Drop the singularity of 1. Um, just factor shift. Get this. And then you can see how much is this? Only E62. Something's wrong. Probably these, up yeah, these upgrades. Ha, that's why. Um, it's probably this. And now all of a sudden, I can't do anything in it. Okay, now there, there must be some kind of bug with this, so I'm just going to exit the Omega Challenge and come back into it. Maybe I should get the booster upgrades first. One, eight, get all of these, then all of these, and then get all the um, singularity function upgrades. Actually, I, I know I don't need to buy max. I think what I can do instead is I can get... I don't think I need this one at all in this challenge, so I can. I also don't don't need that one, so I guess I can just do this. This is actually a more efficient build for this scenario. So this will allow me to um, hopefully get more. Yeah, it's more decrementy than before. It doesn't seem like all that much more, unfortunately, but it's something. I actually I thought I was gonna get more than this. Maybe it's just because this is incrementy, not decrementy. 
I mean, this is definitely still something, but it's not what I might have been hoping for. Maybe I should just exit the enter the other Omega challenges. That's what I'm gonna do instead, because the other ones are probably better. Like especially if I go into Omega Challenge Two, and we'll turn this off. I don't even need to factor boost grind. Um, I can I can get probably a lot more incrementy if I honestly I'm just I'm, I'm lazy now. I'm just gonna get that so I can get more incrementy than ever before. This is probably a new record, I'm guessing. Yeah, it's another .1 challenge completion. Definitely something It's not like the biggest thing ever, but it's still another another .1 challenge completion in this. It's probably going to be another .1 challenge completion in every one of these challenges. Like I'm just going to I'm just going to try to quickly go through these where I can just buy max and and try to get as much incrementing as possible. And this actually was well over one completion. It was got me from like 1.75 to over 2. Except this reward is very weak, so all it did is get this down to one booster. So yeah, that's that challenge. Now I'm gonna go back into I'm gonna challenge five. Maybe this will do something. Even the Omega Challenge 5 grind is actually not even that hard anymore, probably just because of all the all the boosters I have. So yeah, now I can get what is what is the max here? E95. I'm guessing, yeah, this is almost two completions of challenge five. So that's definitely gonna have, I think the olive power is stronger. Like you can actually see already, I think it's 1.7 E5 and then 5 E5. Maybe I'll see something like E6 now. Now that I've beaten this challenge, so or now that I've gone for even further in this challenge, so if we go here, eh, it's not as much as I thought, but it was it's something. So now I guess I can do. I mean, you know what I can't do. I can do this one plus two, and that's gonna give me usually usually that gives me a ton of completions, um, and then somehow I'm not getting additional incrementy. It's, yeah, it's, this is this is the weird challenge. But this, well, I got 1.5 more completions of it, so that's definitely going to be another big help. For I'm, I'm not even sure actually. It's just more challenge complete. Omega challenge completions. Feels like it's just that for the sake of Omega challenge completions. I can go back into Omega challenge four, um, and it'll probably do something. But it's probably not even going to be that good. I mean, it's. I feel like actually this is not even as much incrementing as I got before. Maybe because of the less efficient. I, I'm really not sure. I thought I would be getting more than this, especially with all the other completions I've done. I probably do need some factor boost grinding, so maybe I'll I'll, I'll actually do that um, because I don't I don't think I did, did any factor boost grinding in some of the others that could actually get me additional additional singularity level so yeah it is actually worth it to factor boost grind at least a little bit and let's let's see how, how much so this is now down to 0.37 so that's pretty neat not really gonna mean much maybe I can go back into some of the others like Omega Challenge 2 and maybe this will do something especially if I decide to actually factor boost grind I could even try to Okay, that's not a lot of factor boosts, but maybe if I... I'm going to do the efficient strategy this time. Let's see, it's 89 million per second. That may be enough to... Uh, I could try to reach 2E19. I mean, I'm now already basically 20% of the way there, so why not wait the rest? Okay, so now I'm actually going to get all the way to 2E19. This is going to bump this up about... It over doubles it, so that's kind of useful, but I don't think it's all that useful. I don't, I don't need to grind this many factor boosts. So, yeah, just go back into auto procedures, get this off, and hopefully, what is, what's my record here? E129. Hopefully, with this, I'll be able to, yeah, I can actually get way more. That's another 10 orders of magnitude, which gives me 0.2 completions of this challenge. Yeah, I feel like I actually want to be doing this in all Omega challenges. Maybe I'll I'll just try that and some of the others. So, yeah, hope you enjoyed. Peace out.
Mm-hmm.